Has come a full circle tonight as the Congress finds itself in the BJP's position from 2004. Governors loyal to Sonia Gandhi are getting marching orders tonight from the Narendra Modi government to make space for fresh faces. But they are pushing back hard in what is turning out to be the biggest post-election fight. I understand that they should give their own steps. They should give their own steps. I understand that this is the thing of Vedana. This is a kind of witch hunting. Why, why do they go for this kind of shadow uh, fight? And uh, we will take a decision whether our governor, governor sh uh, should resign or not. Those stinging arguments set the tone for the fiercest post-poll clash following Modi government's decision to ax UPA regime governors. राज्यों के राज्यपालों से राष्ट्रपति ने इस्तीफा मांगा है और ये कोई नई परंपरा नहीं है कोई नई प्रथा नहीं है। I am not in the least surprised. They have no regard for principle. They have no regard for propriety. They have no regard for precedent. And so I am not in the least surprised. Rattled by the development, governor after governor made a beeline at राष्ट्रपति भवन. While some like B.L. Joshi with less than 10 days left in office resigned, others hardened their position, strongly resisting the move. Governors cannot resign. They have to stay according to constitution in their headquarters unless the president appoints a new governor. <laughs> और आप लोग ऐसा ही क्यों न्यूज़ क्रिएट किया मैं आपको ही पूछ रहा हूँ। Back in Kerala, Sheila Dixit, who was appointed governor after the poll debacle in Delhi, dug in her heels too. Ironically, the UPA government itself was heavy-handed with transfers and was strongly criticised by the Apex Court in 2010. An order that it is now stridently reminding the Modi government. 2010 uh, you know, judgment has made all of us wiser. It puts uh, governors in a particular post, and I think once selected, it says that you cannot remove them because of arbitrary, whimsical, or capricious reasons. This document is the proof that what may appear to be a very regular administrative exercise to fill up the administrative requirements has behind it a very well thought out, crafted, and planned strategy. Narendra Modi's own history with Governor Kamala Beniwal has been quite thorny. And now as heads get set to roll, a full-blown confrontation has broken out. With the center facing a tough fight from governors as they push back the Modi government. Bureau report Times Now.